What's going on, everybody? This is your girl, K. Rich, and I am coming at you from a PK perspective. So, I just want to say Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy New Year, whatever you're celebrating right now. It's just a holiday season time to spend with your friends, family, and loved ones. Now, um, I was listening, I, I listened to a lot of, um, well, lately I've been listening to a lot of, um, philosophical, theological, um, just videos, blogs, TED Talks, um, an amazing one that I've been listening to that has been going on, which I didn't know about, was the Jew 3 Project. So if y'all got YouTube, go on YouTube and check out that. There's, I mean, there's some phenomenal theological uh, videos on there. Um, Jerome, Pastor Jerome Gray, a gay um, uh, pastor, uh, doctor, Eric Mason. I mean, there's a lot of awesome guys on there. Dr. Bantu, um, so shout out to them. But I was listening to a video today, and they talked about this story um, of Gideon. And it was crazy because I think the last three videos that I watched were... Um, about this story or this story was in some ways correlated into it and so it kind of piqued my interest when he was talking so what I like to do when that happens is 360 the the the, the sermon 360 the topic in the bible um 360 their viewpoint and all so that. all that means is that I'm checking out the story in the bible the topic and the way that they're, they're bringing it up, all of that in every way that I can think of or see it. So one of the things that I think we, we skip over in this story, which really stood out to me, especially in this day and age and this climate, was the the 300 men. Didn't start with 300. It started with more. <laughs> right? So it started with a lot more. And the stipulation on who to take with him stood out to me the most um, it was the men who lap the water like dogs and what I correlated that with was something I have been telling uh, someone I know my sister we were talking about situations and how desperation looks completely different and there are certain things that you do and don't do when you're at a state of of desperation. Now, that desperation, we're not talking about being desperate to live, but we're just talking about desperate in situations, being desperate for God, being desperate for change, being desperate to, to, to take on your destiny as a new thing. That kind of desperation is what I'm talking about. Um, and God was like, don't take anybody who has the time <laughs> and the lackadaisical attitude enough to stop get a cup of water to to you know bring the water you know it was no one that that did it bougie nobody that did it fancy nobody that did it you know uh, uh, um with what seemed to be time on their hands did they take he took the people that were i hate to say that but he took savages he took <laughs> he took some dog dudes some thugs that was like putting their face down in the water, people that didn't care about what it looked like, people that didn't care about how they went about it with someone else's, you know, in someone else's eyes or someone else's mindset. He chose the people that did what they had to do. The grimy people just had to get down and do what they had to do. And it was, it, it, it's something that I've been like going back and forth, forgot about and everything because, and I talked to my best friend about this, but I am, I'm not going to say all this to Brad, but I'm an educated person. I come from an educated, you know, background. I have two degrees. I have certifications. I have, so I'm not somebody who's out here just remedial in the game, right? I'm actually about to go back to school, get my master's. That's a whole other topic, but when I talk to people, you know, about God or about spiritual things, it always seems to come out so hood. Like, <laughs> like it doesn't come out as eloquent and beautiful as 
you know, I hear like a TD Jakes, he can say word. Girl, we don't, we don't know half the words TD be using. Like, I have the encyclopedia, dictionary, and Bible for some of TD Jakes' <laughs> verbiage he uses. Or when I listen to um, dudes like, you know, uh, Dr. Mason um, or Dr. Bantu, or they can use, but, you know, they can use such eloquent words and they have all of this thing like mapped out to where you're like, wow, like I'm blown away just by. You know, the verbiage. Um, but for me, it seems like I can break, I mean, down to, like, if y'all from Hawaii, y'all know Pigeon, or if you're from, the, you know, Creole is saying, I can break it down, and it'd be like, and I'd be, like, as I said, it'd be like, and I <laughs> can get so blown away how simplistic the language is, or how, like, I, I'm not even say simplistic. I sound like a, a thug, a roundaway girl. Y'all hear me? But God kind of has to remind me. He had to kind of remind me, like, that's who I'm using right now. I'm really not, you know, looking for you to be this eloquent speaking individual. I'm not looking for you to be, you know, all dressed down to the nines. Or I'm not looking for you to have, you know, some unrelatable substance in what you're saying or how you look or how you're presenting yourself. I want you to look like the people you're you're going to minister to. I want you to sound like the people you're going to minister to. So I just want to be, I'm on here just to be, you know, I just want to encourage somebody who may not be as eloquent, may not be as I'm going to wear a suit and tie or I'm going to wear a dress down to my ankles. You might have to minister in your sweats and your jays. You might have to minister, you know, uh, to somebody who's illiterate. You might have to, that might be your ministry. So, you know, God uses the foolish things to confound the wise. So I just want y'all to be encouraged that if you're in the same boat, <laughs> if you're in the same boat, I'm in, be encouraged, okay? If you're in the same, you know, if you break things down the way I do, God gives me simple illustrations that I can talk to people about. And then sometimes, I, as he's giving it to me, like I'm like, this sounds so simple. <laughs> this sounds so simple, but it's such a complex thing. So just walk in your gift, walk in your calling, be cool with how God um, gives it to you. Be cool with how he ministers to you. He may, he, you know, he may want to use that. And he does, he does. I'm not gonna say he may. He does want to use that because he knows exactly who you are. He knows exactly what he's placed in you. He wants to use you just like that. So be encouraged, be about God, but do it the way he's given it to you, all right? I want y'all to go be great. Peace.